I don't want that. That looks good. I don't care about my colors. Saving. Let us start this campaign. Oh, what? Who, who's there? Oh. oh, it's you. Hello again. I don't have my. Bruh. Hello, it's me, Will. Or also known as Hellcat. Saying hi again in the virtual world. Uh, different world. My my bedroom of my dreams, as you can see. We've got some Halo going. I'm going to turn off my game here for a second. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by watching this video. And I want to talk about some things today. I'm going to be... Anyways, you can tell by this topic. Um, today we're talking about some things that I've been wanting to talk about. Some things I experienced today and what have you in the comfort of my room. So anyways, let's start with that. In this video, I want to talk about um, my experience with bit swaps. Uh, for those who may not know, or maybe if you're new to, who might be new to hobbying and stuff, uh, a bit swap, or it might be a swap shop, or what have you, is a, a thing that you can go to where you can bring old models, games, uh, leftover bits that you have from your models and stuff and trade and buy from others and stuff like that and trade with them. Uh, I went to basically give away a bunch of my loose bits that I've been sitting on forever and I bought a bunch of stuff. You might be able to see somewhere over over where this ball is. Woo woo! For this sort of thing uh, you go stuff like that so that's basically what a bit swap is and we're going to call it that for now um what should you let's see what like what should i talk about it's interesting i went to our local game store and we um set up there's a table area we were allowed to freely go though if you might want to check out one yourself uh facebook groups are still have usefulness to them uh usually gaming clubs and stuff in your area will have one and they'll post about it there or they'll post in stores and stuff like that discord groups but we went we brought some stuff uh it was free entry for anyone who wanted to come and sell you know be respectful for the store which can lead into our next topic respect the store and things you should do you know kind of always but rule number one oh, no, no, no. look at the camera look at the camera uh rule number one i would say is uh, be respectful to the store. The store is opening its doors to the public to allow you to come in with your own stuff and sell in its place of business. Though so if this is say a place that only sells model to keep the lights on, like a, a club or something, then okay maybe you know still respect the, the place but you know it's not there to make money in the long run. So so anyways we're assuming this place is a store so you're gonna go in with respect and and all that stuff i'm gonna get my headset so respect your store ask about details before going and what you can bring and if it costs anything what have you rule two i would say to this rule two is and this is going to be a big one these aren't in any sort of particular order of worst to bad whatever have you uh, but hygiene there's gonna be a lot of people and depending on the size of the store and if you have AC and stuff and where you live there's gonna be a lot of people really close together and I have to say I did have an encounter with your stereotypical neck beard in this place full anime kid trench coat the shirt shaved surprisingly so not really a neck a beard or a beard that is on the neck but and definitely, you know, had a Cheeto smell to them. So your personal hygiene, your cleanliness, and you know, when you're kind of scurrying around the, the bolt action area, looking at Soviets and the, you know. The... But, you know, wash yourself, uh, make sure you're wearing clothes that aren't gonna catch on things. Don't be too extravagant. You know, try to watch your surroundings. You just step out of the way, things like that. And which, what can lead to rule or tip number one whatever have you what we're doing is be mindful of your surroundings not only does this matter to you what i mean by 
follow me, set me free. What was I going on about? Oh yeah, personal space. Watch, uh, watch where you're walking stuff. Be mindful of people's stuff. There's a lot of expensive things there that you might trip on. You know, the usual dress. Watch your shirts and jackets and things. But another one is about personal space is knowing your business. There could be, the swap could be happening at a local garage sale or maybe happening at a trade center, like a center, business center, trade center, whatever you want to call it. Or it could be happening in a game store like mine did that I went to, but be really mindful. It's always fun to bring stuff and sell things, but also going to look at other people's things. You got to be mindful that they're, the world is full of shady people and people aren't against just grabbing things and going. It's also a game store, so how are they going to know if the difference, like if a person that's an employee there isn't really paying attention, how do they not know if it's from their shelf or if it's something that they brought themselves? So having kind of an eye, maybe going as a group with friends or something, taking turns, uh, people who've had experiences with conventions, they are definitely, this felt very much like running a convention and it kind of was. So I had personal experience with how to deal with this, but uh, for those who might be new to this, you know, just trust people, your fellow nerds for the most part are going to be there. They're going to be chads. They're going to, you know, respect things, kind of, everyone has expensive things, but there is always that one bad egg that's going to ruin everything for people. So just keep a mindful eye on things, you know, be polite. People want a touch where we're in a hobby, a medium where it's all about touch and look and sight. So people are going to want to pick up stuff. You're going to trust them with things. Um, if models are more delicate, say like an Archeon that we saw there, I would have some sort of note pre-made. Even if it's just a sticky note that says, hey, please ask before touching this and stuff. And things like this also on the side leading on to sales and trading. So I've seen from when we were there, I saw... Um, Freaking, I saw people offering 3D printing services. I've seen board games, which they had chaos in the old world. Mm, er, I wanted it so bad. Talking about that, sell, sales and things. People offered services, 3D printing, what have you. Yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, know your pricing. It's it's swap. You're going there to usually get rid of things. Most people are. Just be courteous about pricing. Don't call people out on it. Don't. Um, Northern XL is a lad and a chad. I highly recommend watching his videos, but he's talked about proper etiquette of being a person in a store. I highly recommend checking out that video if I can figure out which one it was because it was in a video where he's talked about topics. Um, I'll post the link down below. If not, I'll have his channel link down below. Still try, you want to show, and this advice from someone who's ran a store, who's worked in a store during events kind of like this. You want to show to the people who run the place that this is a profit profitable adventure while still being a community supporting biz like aspect which i guess can lead into a, maybe the last thought about this but going through the day talking to people being respectful of things i guess the last real thing i talk about is cleanup and going through the day um but yeah, I wish I had B-roll. I didn't bring my camera because things and stuff. And I had a lot. I, I got to test out that bag though. The um, the um, if you've seen it, my gamer sups bag about the delivery girl bag. I got to finally test it. I can tell you, it works. It carried all my bits and stuff I wanted to sell, and all the stuff I bought, including metal models, which. You should see the pictures around here somewhere on this pop up on the screen of what I got my haul. I guess that basically is my etiquette. Just you know, wash, watch yourself, wash yourself, respect yourself, respect others, and respect the venue. Excuse me, that you're in, and uh, maybe throw some money to the people there, especially if it's a free event. And yeah, there's that's really it. Uh, so talking about my time there, we kind of left at. You know, we're gonna bring you so that's basically my take on this whole event for the day i so started off with us waking up at about nine or so packed up our stuff we uh, traveled to the store got there we set up our our table and when we were there we laid out everything took a look around 
I picked up a bunch of my loot throughout the day. I got some Zombicide stuff, I got the RPG I was looking for, I got my Plastic Katusha, which we got a video on about, and I have my Chinese for uh, Bolt Action Korea I picked up, because those were on sale. So you can usually find sale stuff. But for the most part, pretty okay day. We went and we bought stuff and around one or so we came back, everyone was packing up. I gave away a bunch of my bits and my sprues. People donated some money to me for it, but mostly was just trying to get rid of them. Um, my roommate there sold actually a bit of sprues, so he made some money back. And yeah, it was pretty a pretty fun experience. And I, I want to go again if I can, uh, go help there again and stuff. But would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend it. If you've been in this hobby for a while, maybe you want to try something, get to know people, maybe meet some people to play games, see what people are offering, maybe find a 3D printer for your town or offer 3D printing or your painting service. Those can be places to go, but again, again, you know, ask the people that are running the place about the rules they want to imply, if it's okay to do that, if they're chill with that. But I think that's really about it um hopefully should have more videos on this i really liked my chance there i would recommend people to go they're great experiences to socialize and sell and yeah so that's my take on these and ramblings about you know going to a convention again i wish i had video for you guys and photos uh, i i think i actually have one if i can get it uploaded i'll post it here near the end but yeah, bit, bit swaps. I would recommend. They're fun. Uh, they're a great way to get money back from your, your investment. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you don't mind my rambling. I'm just trying to get these out here. Maybe someday I'll come back with somebody and talk more clearly about this. But I just wanted to get my thoughts out uh, when it was still fresh and try my best to explain things. But yeah you guys i'm gonna go to bed here we'll see you guys next next time mm. Mm. click the video click it click the video you know you want to click it